on the railway for a long time, they're un unlike other railway employees, they don't have a pension, they don't have sick pay, they don't even have free travel passes to get up and down on the trains. And we think that's totally unacceptable as a trade union, and we've been campaigning against that for some time. Now these are low paid workers, but they've taken several days of strike action to raise the point. <coughs> now the fact of the matter is, most of these people are on £6.19 an hour, and what that actually means is that the taxpayers in Newcastle and around the district are subsidising a bad employer. Because that's what it is. Because even though these, a lot of these people are working and they do overtime shifts on top of their basic week, they still have to claim benefits, they still have to claim, they have, still have to claim uh, money for their houses, they pay the rent because their wages are so appalling that they can't actually manage on, on, their living, on the wage that they've got. Now, we've always contracted the metro system for many, many years. Now, Cleaners who currently work for Churchill have a contract, and Churchill have a contract from DB Regio to clean the metro cars and to clean the stations. That contract goes through until August 2014. We expect DB Regio and Churchill to honour that contract. So your dispute is with Churchill. Hey, just yeah. explain that, just explain. So you're going to, because I want him to come out and use all this. Except for the, the little on the IT in regards to living wage. Yeah. Saying to us and councillor Wood in particular, to me and you, saying that he wants a living wage for, uh, living wage for councillor workers. Is that correct? Yeah. There you go. Well, there is no mandate on me, there is no resolution of the ITA to put any conditions on wage rates. And that's why we're here today, that's why we'll be outside the ITA meeting, that's why we'll be inside the ITA meeting, that's why we'll be putting pressure on members of the ITA. Now, the living wage, no, that's, that's great, I think it's been set at about £7.20 an hour. Maybe all the politicians should go on a living wage, because I think it'd be a bit higher there. Because uh, I'd, I'd like to see if a politician's managed on seven point twenty an hour, never mind six point nineteen pence an hour. Now, I believe that this is a, a Labour-run council, and you know you, you don't have to go back too far in history. We've seen people like Manny Lansbury going to jail for refusing to attack, attack working-class people by, pack, by, by passing a, a cuts budget. You've seen people in Liverpool. And you've seen people in Lambeth in the Labour Party being surcharged because they refused the attack work of people by introducing their cuts budget. Now all we're asking is this council, if you call yourself Labour and you are Labour people, then what you should be doing is backing up the trade union movement and backing up these low paid workers. Now people might argue that they, at the end of this contract that you can put that in place, you can put that living wage in place. Well, the living wage, in my opinion, is insufficient anyway, but it's a step forward. But these people can't wait to the end of the contract. And why should people in Newcastle, a taxpayer in Newcastle, subsidise an appalling employer like Churchill's? And why should, why should Tyne and Weir Nexus, why should they employ such a firm that their people have to claim benefits just to make ends meet? It's a totally unacceptable situation. The irrespective of industrial action and industrial disputes, these people are worth at least a travel pass on the Tyne and Weir Metro. You know that our view is that it should be a leisure pass that's open to them at any time and not just a pass to go to work. Well, the least that can happen is that that pass should be given irrespective of industrial action because the no. opposite, what happens is, Bernard, by refusing to give them that pass, and I'll let you get in in a second, by refusing <laughs> to give them that pass, it looks as if Nexus is taking sides on the side of Churchill, the employer, in a dispute to keep these people on no. poverty pay. Nexus isn't taking sides, and I've made the offer through to the trade union that on the cessation of this dispute, we will make travel to and from work on Metro available to cleaners. But why on the cessation of this dispute when this dispute is specifically about wages and conditions? Because that is a dispute between yourselves and Churchill. Yeah. They've got absolutely nothing to do with Nexus. Yeah. So we're here today to lobby you, to get you on board and make sure this situation doesn't continue any longer. 
we've come here, and 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 uh, you can see the, the strength of the delegation. All these people, nobody nobody goes on strike lightly. No, we don't we don't rush into strike action, and especially if you're on six point nineteen pence an hour, you don't rush into strike action. But the size of this protest today, the size of this delegation, <coughs> should tell you there's a problem. And really, we're here to deliver this message. Low pay, no way. It's got to stop. It's in your hands, and you can do the business. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No pay. No way. 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 No pay. No way.